One of the things we really haven't gotten used to yet is that the sun doesn't come up down here. I mean, it doesn't really get daylight till about 8. And up in Maine, it gets daylight about 5 in the morning. And uh, we are pretty used to getting up way early. So I decided to get up. <clears throat> it's almost 7 now, and there's a little sunlight. You know, it's sunny, not bright sunlight, but... I wanted to get out here and beat the sun because I want to dig and put a railroad tie in over here. And once that sun gets up, it's going to be hot. Uh, it's supposed to cool down in the next few days. Uh, uh, next week, it's supposed to be pretty cooler down here. But when the sun's bearing down on you, it's <clears throat> pretty hard to do a lot of digging. So you can see where I got a little trench started. And basically, I'm going to dig that down about six inches and set me a railroad tie right there. And then I'm going to dig off the excess and move it around back and put it in front of my little area where I work on weed whackers and stuff. Because that red mud back there gets a little rain on it. Oh, isn't that slickery? Get me a shovel and we'll be right back. We'll get to it. I think I'm going to get a bucket, shovel some of that gravel in it and just take it around back and start spreading it around. This old Georgia red clay is harder than stone when it's dry. But when it gets hot, no, when it gets wet, it turns into a slippery, slimy mess. Now here's where the water has ran down and just been washing it away. Now it's hard now, so it's hard as a bone in there. But uh, what happens is rain comes and washes it away. I got a little pile of dirt that Honey Baby dug up when she was planting something out in the front yard the other day that I brought around here and I'm going to take my rake and just kind of rake it down here and then dump this gravel here. If I get enough gravel I'll just do a little area out here and up into there. I put some tin down on the floor inside there last year to, oh just to kind of uh, be honest with you, when it gets wet in there, it's so slippery you can't hardly stand up. I almost slid down on this stuff the other day when I came out of the house. But the tan has its own drawbacks. It's not the best thing to you know, that you're walking on for four either. So, uh, yeah. I got some more dirt out there across the road. I may go dig up and bring in here too from some of her planting. Uh, things that she's done recently. Uh, I've been using, I'm using this little welding part as a, I guess sort of as a wheelbarrow. Uh, Works pretty good actually uh, for stuff like what I just did. Honey Baby's got a wheelbarrow, but I don't like it very much. It's a real cheap thing. She likes it. I think I'll take my shovel and run across the road over there. Dig up some of that dirt that she dumped out over there the other day. Bring it back and fill some more of those holes. And uh, of course, y'all are welcome to come with me. I take y'all everywhere I go, pretty much. 